Oh, let's see. Bang! This is one sun that doesn't set. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you animals. I am back with not only another consistent and accessible build for soloing 7 Star Blastoise, but an extremely spicy build courtesy of the Danimals. I had this Aspathra build suggested to me by the Danimal Reloop 2ST in my Night 1 stream. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of your username. I'm very happy to see Aspathra finally shining in a 7 star Terror Raid. I always thought it was primed for success because it gets a really powerful signature move, Lumina Crash, and the ability Opportunist is incredibly powerful in the right situation. Just in case you didn't already know, 7 star Blastoise drops Urban Mystica just like Venusaur, so make sure that you are taking on 7 star Blastoise with the Danimal Kingdom. Our community has two goals when it comes to all these events terror raids, help as many people as possible get the win, and then beat the terror raid with as many different Pokemon as possible. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, make sure you join the Dan Squared Discord, discord.gg slash Dan Squared. Now let's get into this build. Here's the high level overview of 7 star Blastoise and the Espathra that I use to solo it. Next to Blastoise, you'll see the Fire Terra Vaporeon build that you can use to dominate Blastoise in both solo and group raids. Underneath Blastoise, you will see what I think is the best build for taking down 7 star Blastoise, and that is Fighting Terra Gallade. Check out that video if you haven't already, and let's zoom in on Espathra. Bask in the beauty of my Espathra for taking down 7 star Blastoise. It does have a Psychic Terra that is on purpose. Yes, I know it hits Steel type for not very effective damage, but it does not matter. This build is that strong. It has max special attack EVs, max special defense EVs, and the final four in HP. It has max IVs in all of its stats except for attack, and it has a modest nature to increase its special attack while lowering its attack because it's a special attacking Pokemon. The ability Opportunist is the key to this build. Anytime Espathra's opponent raises any of its stats, Espathra copies that stat change, which is huge because that powers up Stored Power. Stored Power has a very wimpy base power, power squared, of 20. But for every stage that one of the user's stats is raised, its base power increases by 50 and there is no limit. Calm Mind powers up Stored Power and gives additional special bulk to this build. Lumina Crash softens up Blastoise for stored power. Espathra uses the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. We've seen the build, now time to see the Ostrich dressed up as Lady Gaga in action. Like any Dance Squared solo build, there is a set set of directions that we can follow to get consistent and easy solo wins. Right now we're going to start off with 4 Calm Mines. I'm not going all the way to 6 because I don't want to do too much damage. I will elaborate on that shortly. Also, because Blastoise is gonna negate our stat changes uh, one time, so I don't wanna go all the way up before then. You can, maybe, but this is how I like to do it. This is what I found to be the best. So four Calm Minds, then we're gonna start using Stored Power. We're gonna save Lumina Crash for a little bit later, but I don't wanna use it early because I don't want to break the shield at the same time as the Terror Raid hits 60% on the timer. At 60%, I believe it's 60%. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, as always. 60%, that's when Blastoise will negate the stat changes on our side of the field. We want that to happen before we break the shield, because when we break the shield, Blastoise uses Shell Smash. And that way, the Opportunist ability kicks in, and that increases our speed and attack, which helps us in two ways. It adds 200 more base power to stored power, and it makes sure that we're still moving before Blastoise. So there's our Calm Mind. That's gonna power up Stored Power, because again, like we talked about just recently, every stage a stat is increased is plus 50 to the base power. It gets out of hand fast. So we've done our four. Now I'm going right to Stored Power. Uh, save and Lumina Crash for later. I don't want to lower Blastoise's special defense. And also after my second attack, probably Blastoise is gonna negate its uh, stat changes anyway. So we want to take our time because we want to avoid, if possible, the Turbo Turtle time. So what I mean by Turbo Turtle time is later in the Terror Raid, I think it's around 33% of the health, or at least maybe it's after half, I don't know. I just know it's later in it. We'll see exactly. Blastoise will put a Rain Dance, and that'll power up Hydro Pump, and it'll start using two moves at once. We want to avoid that. If we play our cards right, which we will, we will be able to skip that. So there's the negate, so the Lumina Crash wouldn't have helped too much anyway. 
But again, I don't want to break the shield before our stat changes are negated. It's a very delicate dance we do. The best AI allies for this raid are Belly Bolt and Gardevoir. Belly Bolt will use Light Screen, and it also can paralyze. Blastoise Gardevoir uses Life Dew. While I'm terrestrializing, I want to know what are some of the different Pokemon that you are using to take down 7-star Blastoise. I think there's going to be more builds that can solo this thing than Venusaur, because I think Blastoise is easier than Venusaur. I would have given it just a one physical attack to make it a little bit mixed. But here we go. Good. Solid damage. Not too much. And I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like those people that are like, oh, I don't want to start lifting because I don't want to get too big. But trust me, trust me. We're going to do one more, one more stored power and then to get the shield almost down. Then we're actually going to wait. So we're really close to the negate. So there we go. Good, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wait a couple seconds if we need bait till Blastoise nullifies our stat changes. At which point we're going to be do using six Calm Minds. And then, we'll yeah, there we go. Perfect. Also, you like, uh, I picked the Dance Squared shirt that most closely matched Espathra. It was such a fun, it, it, it's hair is so funny. It really looks like it's wearing a wig. But anyway, six Calm Minds. Then we'll use Lumina Crash to get this to break the shield we want to break the shield and have its special defense all the way down and then we want to swing for one giant hit we want to hopefully just get it as close to zero from half and just skip turbo turtle time i'm glad that blastoise kept the herba mystica rewards of venusaur it's going to be a real bummer the first time we get a 7-star Terror Raid that doesn't give any Herba Mystica. We're so spoiled right now. But I'm just loving it because I've been yapping, as I do, saying that we need better Terror Raid rewards. The Herba Mystica has better Terror Raid rewards. Still waiting on something like seven, uh, Zero Aura from Dynamax Adventures. But let me interject my yapping to say, hey, um, once you get down to yellow, you might want to mix in Illumina Crash to heal some with the Shell Bell. But I loved the Zero or Terror Raid in Dynamax Raid in Sword and Shield. If a million trainers defeated Zero Aura, every trainer got a shiny Zero Aura. That's how the Unshiny locked it. I need them to do that for Corydon and Miridon. I need that. Okay, so let's get back to Calm Mind. We have three more to go. But I would just I would love nothing more than to just help the Danimals defeat one million Corydon and then we all get it unshiny locked. Forget it. It would be, it would be can't miss. Terror raids would be so bad. Okay, so now we're okay. I'm taking it. Uh, the critical hit will end our run. Again, critical hits stink, but we're just not gonna get critted. That's why you're watching it. It would be funny though, if I made the video, and in the gameplay section it just lost. <laughs> Maybe for April Fool's Day. It is coming up. But no crits. All right, so we have one more Calm Mind to do, so I'm going to do that one more Calm Mind. You could also mix in the, the Heal Chair, that, or, but it's two birds with one stone just going right to the Lumina Crash. Because now we want to use Lumina Crash to break the shield. Stored Power will do too much damage and go Turbo turbo Time. We don't want to use Stored Power until the shield is broken. It's a very delicate dance we're doing here. So now, good. Let's look at our stats. It, it's going to go even higher once Blastoise uses Shell Smash. So I'm going to start Lumina crashing, we're going to do some healing, and we're going to get close to breaking the shield. Once we break the shield, Blastoise is going to use a Shell Smash. Perfect. Perfect. And so we like that because now its shield is broken, so instead of hitting for just 70% of our damage, we're hitting for 100%. Then it's going to use Shell Smash, which is going to power up our Espathra, thanks to that opportunist ability. So now here, we talked about the key to this build. Watch it in action. Its defense, its special defense goes down again. Beautiful, lovely. Special attack, not ideal. It's going to do a lot of damage. But now that's plus 100, 100 base power for the attack, another 100 for the speed. So I'm going, we have the free turn. It, you get one turn when Blastoise does nothing after you break its shields. I'm going to Lumina Crash again because I want to lower its special defense. And then let's reevaluate. Let's see. 
Let's see where we're at. I think I'm going to swing now. We're getting near the end. We have time. I want to guarantee this hit, though. So what are we at? It's at minus six. We're at plus a lot. I'm going to swing because even if we don't get the knockout, it just takes one tap. We're done negating. This. Oh, let's see. Bang. This is one sun that doesn't set. That's a work in progress. I'm trying to, the high council member Spooky said I need a nice, a catchphrase for when I beat the terror raids for like the cold open. They're like, this this is one sun that doesn't set because I'm sun Dan. Or like, I don't know. I need help on that. <laughs> this sun, this sun never sets. It's a work in progress. But now let's tap it. That was, that was sick. That was sick. Espather is awesome. Uh, let me know in the comments if you try this build out. And if you enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using stored power on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Blastoise season!